Hello, it's Ashing, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's exercise video is an arms workout. Yeah, I said arms, I know. Um, personally, I don't always train arms, I have to say I do an awful lot of body weight, and even at that, I'm not the best at it. Um, but yeah, I said I would do a 50 minute, um, quite intense, weighted uh, strength workout. So we are going to be using dumbbells, um, like we kind of always do, I suppose we work on a time clock rather than reps, I think it suits everybody. Um, so we're going to be working for 50 seconds, 10 seconds of rest and then obviously one minute completed uh, per exercise. So we've got seven exercises, one minute rest between that set and then the second set. Um, so I've got two fives. Um, even at that, I'm sure some of the exercises are going to be a little bit heavy for me, but I'm going to push through, it's going to be fine. So grab whatever dumbbells you have, and um, even a mixture might be nice, um, even if you don't have dumbbells. Wine bottles, bags of sugar, um, water bottles, whatever it is, just grab a hold of it and let's get some resistance training going with our arms. So without further ado, let's just get to it. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to set the timer. We've got 15 seconds before we get going. We are gonna come with both our weights for now, and we're gonna come into a single arm press. So normally I stand with kind of a split stance just to allow um, a little bit more support through the pelvis and the longer spine. We're gonna raise those hands up in line with our shoulders, and then we're gonna allow rotation first, then press it up and overhead. Control the descent of the weight, and then we go to the opposite side. So press, and return. So working through your shoulders and you also have to keep like your core tight as well so control also through the torso and the control of the, the weight on the way down is as important as the control of the weight pressing up towards the ceiling. Excellent. So we've got 15 seconds to go would you believe? Time flies when you're having fun. Okay. Coming down to the last five. Good. And one. All right, we've got 10 seconds. We're going to come into a bent over row. So what I normally do from here is just hinge from the hips, and the bum back. Arms or palms are facing outwards. Elbows are tucked in. You want to lift the back of the arm up towards the ceiling, squeezing your shoulder blades and release your hands. Lift and squeeze and release. So if you look from the front, my elbows are kind of going in the direction of my shoulder blades, so really trying to lift through the back of my arm rather than pulling upwards with the weights. Good, and keep a soft bend through your knees, elbows driving backwards as if to touch each other. Oh, this one's a tough one getting kind of weird deltoid, rhomboids, lats, lower traps. We've got three and one. Ooh, that was one of my triceps there. All right, we've got basic biceps. <laughs> so look, arm curls. So we're gonna go with kind of a, a diagonal in this position. So the, the, the weight is kind of coming upwards towards your sternum, so that long chest bone, rather than Coming straight up in this position, we're just gonna do curls. Woo. And again, keep a soft bend through the knees. Ooh. <laughs> Biceps. <Ugh. laughs> Good. Maybe even a tandem stance. Try and offload a little more. Good. All right, we are coming down into the last five. Two and one. All right, have a kneel. We're coming into the some triceps. So the weight's gonna come up and over. Both hands, again, nicely controlled through the center. Upper arm stays. Bottom part between the elbow and the wrist is the thing that moves. Try to dip that weight downwards towards the floor behind you. And then lengthen up. Pressing that weight up towards the ceiling. And we lower down. 
Good. We've got 20 seconds. Ooh, weight slipping out of my hand. Good, we've got 10 seconds on the clock. Ooh. Good, five. And one. Ooh, be careful bringing that weight up and over. Okay, coming into some abductions now, we're kind of lateral raises, but doing this uh, with an elbow bent. So again, tandem stance, arms reach up, keeping the elbows bent. Raise the elbows up to shoulder height. Ooh, this one's difficult on fives, I have to say. <laughs> So really trying to control again, that descent of the weights all the way back down. 20 seconds. Oh, we got it. My left arm, not wanting to do this at all. Good, we've got 10. Push through. Good, five, four. Oh, one. Oh, that was tough on the shoulders. Okay, we're gonna come and lie down. Arms are screwed up over your shoulders. Knees are bent, feet are flat. And you allow the arms to move out, elbows bent, so the outside of your upper arm is tipping down towards the floor. Push from here to meet the dumbbells back in through center. Out we go. Elbows drop and push. Just your nice chest press. Oh, you want a little bit of space also between kind of your rib cage and the mat, allowing those shoulder blades to be flat. My left arm hates this five kg weight. <laughs> Excellent. All right, coming into our last exercise, I think. Ooh. Fantastic. All right, coming down into a plank position here. We're gonna come into a row. So, lift and lift. This one's a tough one, but we're allowing those elbows again to come back. Shoulder blades going back and down. Whew. And we control the descent of that weight. Coming back down to the floor. Oh, ah. Heavy on those arms. Whew. All right. Almost there. Whew. Whew. Coming down to five seconds now. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, we've got 10 seconds and then a minute. And then we're gonna go again. That's hard. Yes. Okay, one minute. <laughs> Ooh. It's actually so important that we do train our arms for like our shoulder joint. Um, shoulder joints, the muscles are your main supportive system for your shoulder joint. So if the muscles aren't working, we may have a problem. So it is quite important that we do exercises like this, not just for aesthetic reasons, but <laughs> general muscular issues. Whew. A little bit of core in there as well. Sure, why not, as they say. Okay, let's get ready to go again. Grabbing those weights. I would have used three, but my mom took them. <laughs> so, to handle stands. And we come up into our single arm press. Again, we control the descent 
of the weight coming all the way back down. Support. So back we go with that weight and we kick it up, arms nice and long, elbows bent to send it down and we kick it up. Good. So lateral raises but with a bent elbow. So nice one for the deltoids. Up we go. Slowly down. So trying to kick those elbows up in line with your shoulder joint. Ooh. And this is definitely way too heavy for me. Good. Control is the most important thing. So try not to choose a heavy weight if you can't control it. Next thing we've got 10 seconds. I'm gonna feel this one in the morning. <laughs> Good, five. Ooh. All right, chest press. All the way down. Knees bent. Feet are flat, a little bit of an arch through the spine, allow those elbows to fall out, pressing from the chest to push those weights upwards. So 
So we should start to feel it through the pecs, the front of our chest. Can sometimes come across the front of the shoulder. It's where your pec attaches into kind of your upper arm area. So don't worry if that's where you're feeling it. Ooh, nice one. All right, last exercise. Ooh, plank row to finish. Oh, I love a good difficult one at the end. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Feet nice and wide. Up we go. Planks, by the way. Half plank is also an option. Same thing. More important that you get the movement for the arms. That's what we're focusing on. Good, we've got five. Ooh. Ha ha ha. And that is it. We're done. That is arms. <laughs> and that is it. 15 minutes of arms, very isolated movements. Um, I'll probably be cursing myself tomorrow, especially for those <laughs> lateral raises. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, until our next exercise video, I really hope you enjoyed today's workout and I will see you very soon. Take care and mind yourselves and I will see you shortly. Bye.